compartments will have this, they can just take off a bit, put it under an iron, and then prep that area with a bit of bonding tape. And then you can cut through the bonding tape and it will mean that it won't rip any mm -hmm. further. It's like adding a, it's adding a strengthener to, to these seams. So you can then do a nice big snip through that and it won't rip any further. So yeah, I would recommend if you do to get some of that in your kit, if in case the costume department don't have it, then you can say, don't worry, I've got this. Let's prepare all of his shirts with that in that position. And I think as a, as a, as a, a bit of advice, generally to put it lower is much better because then you will, there's a less likely that you will see the cable. There, there's a chance that you might mm -hmm. see the cable if it's higher, mm -hmm. I think. There's some, some situations where you might, if you make that hole there, you might end up seeing it on the, on the back of their neck or something. So it's better to be a little bit lower. And that's like a, an iron-on adhesive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely yeah. iron-on. So that you put not the, the bonding tape first and then you make the cut, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. In the field, if you don't have any of that and you're mm -hmm. stuck, Medical tape, 3M medical tape works for uh, yeah. in the field. Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely say, hey, that's going to stop it from ripping further. But this is why, like, like your shirt here is uh, bought from a company in the in the UK called Marks and Spencer, and co co costume departments will generally buy multiples, you know, and they'll only buy it from places where they know they can get multiples. So you, if they say, oh no, it's going it, to, we can't cut this one, it's like, well, do you have multiples? If they, they'll most likely have multiples. And then it's like, well, okay, you know you've got a spare in case something goes wrong. So I generally ask if they have multiples. Sometimes on short films they won't have multiples. But what's the chance of you seeing that? Yeah. You know, for the for the what you, if you're really be an issue. yeah. And uh, but I think in this situation we don't need to worry about cutting a hole. But there will be occasions where you will have a loose tie and an unbuttoned top, and and if you have no jacket, you have to go down there. So it's like it, it's a, it is a conversation that I would have in pre-production if I knew we were working with lots of shirts and ties. I would say, I would talk to the costume designer in advance and say, is this okay? Can we prep some of the lead actor's shirts like this? And so, so long as you don't surprise them on the day, I think that's probably the, mm -hmm. a, good, a good way to do that. Shall we have a look at um, another, another costume? Yeah, Maybe somebody else's? Wanted to do the uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. I just took it off because what can I have? Ah, oh, those lovely jackets. So, is it all the <coughs> So, what do you guys do? You guys come across these a lot? Yeah. And what do they, what's the normal situation, what would you normally do to deal with it? I'd say even higher than that. Yeah. Like how, how do they have it all the way to like there or something? With that open or that closed? It's normal. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just say that that's the rig. You've got a little bit of zipper. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it my hand. I'll okay. okay. A little bit of zipper <coughs> can hide it here. Yeah. And put a little piece of uh, snap here yeah. to hold that. Mm -hmm. So we just hide it here mm. with some uh, 